This video is sponsored by Cole Boar. More on that later on. Nowadays, video quality on the internet is borderline just as good as TV and movies. Just the fact that the upcoming blockbuster film, The Creator, was shot on the Sony FX3 is proof in the pudding. But if we rewind the clock just a few years, internet content looked a lot more like this. Get away from me. Natalie, what's going on? Uh, I can't afford a camera. <laughs> One of the most popular cameras responsible for this retro looking footage is the flip video cameras. Look at these cute little candy bar cameras. So today we're gonna talk about the flip camera's legacy, whether or not you should use one of these in the modern day, and we might even make our own flip camera commercial. Oh, we probably will. I'd like to show you one of the world's great cameras. The first version of a flip cam came out in 2006. And for context, in 2006 we got the Nintendo Wii, Twitter, <laughs> and the Da Vinci Code movie came out. Professor Langdon, you're in grave danger. Yeah, and I'm talking to her. She says she doesn't have the Canva proposal ready. <laughs> no. All right, Jack, we'll see you later, man. Dear God. What's weird about that is the sequel to Da Vinci Code, Angels and Demons, was filmed in Rome, which is where I took these flip cameras on vacation recently to get a ton of test footage. And yes, I know that's extremely overkill, but you're welcome. Politics and tech but I bring it all together for you and present it in a relentlessly unconventional fashion. After 2006, there were a bunch of different flip cam models that came out over the years, but for this video, we're gonna specifically focus on this one, the Flip Cam Ultra HD Gen 3, baby. And I bought two of these. We have a factory sealed, brand new out of the box black version, and then we have this special edition used Ray-Ban edition. Wow. Altogether on eBay, I spent about $180 for both of these cameras and a bunch of extra batteries for my trip. Oh, look at this, brand spanking new, baby. It comes with this cute little pouch and it looks like some sort of like secure bracelet maybe. So you can just hold it and walk around with it. Wow. First ever flip. Wow. That is so satisfying, man. Like this feels really nice. It's kind of got a rubbery, almost GameCube-esque feel to it. This is just a satisfying piece of technology to hold. I might just f vape this shit. In order to charge these flip cameras, you have to eject the USB arm and just plug that in and it will charge the internal battery. So I have one plugged into my Xbox Series S. And if we take a little trip downstairs, come on, Indy, let's go, let's go. I have the second one plugged into our PS5. <laughs> So, really expensive charging units, uh, but dude, they're gonna get to full power fast. Flip. Saving one person's camera at a time. This whole commercial was filmed with the Flip video. Now this little Gen 3 model came out in 2010, so what are the actual specs of the camera? It has a candy bar shaped design, a two inch viewing screen, a quarter 20 mount on the bottom of the camera, a micro HDMI port, which kind of reminds me of Canon cameras in 2023, eight gigabytes of internal storage for up to two hours of recording in glorious 720p 60 FPS footage. Unfortunately, there's no photo mode, but you do get a removable rechargeable battery pack and the most satisfying flip out USB connector. It's like the greatest fidget toy built into your camera. To be honest though, I really don't give a crap about specs. This is what matters to me. Is the camera fun to use? Does it make my shooting experience simple, especially when I'm traveling on vacation? And does the footage look good? I decided the only logical way to answer these questions was to take the flip camera on a trip through Italy and Greece. First shot on the flip video camera. We're about to leave for Romeo. We're about to head to the airport. I'm getting our rental car, which is a big old Jeep Wagoneer. And we're gonna fly to Rome today, which is so crazy to think about. Straight vibing with some Lamones right now. Give us a review. <laughs> I get this view and then a slightly worse view. This one. Out of exposure. So now that I've spent a few weeks with these cameras and sorted through all the footage, I can give you an honest, in-depth review of these cameras in the modern day. 
But first, sponsor time. And I need you to stick around for this quick little ad because without it, I couldn't eat dinner. So thanks for being here. Today I'm gonna tell you about the new light from Colbor. It's called the CL220. Lights are more important than what camera body you have. They're more important than the lens you have most of the time. Without good light, your footage just won't look good. And if you're tired of sitting out in the sun and shooting during the hot Nashville weather, well, you might wanna shoot some stuff inside and that's when you're most likely gonna need a light. Let's be real, every company and their grandmother is making lighting equipment now, so why should you care about this light, the CL220? Well, first of all, it's way more affordable than most other lighting companies out there, but you don't have to sacrifice the quality and the features of the light itself. The shell is made out of aluminum alloy and it is compatible with Bowen's mount stuff. The Kelvin goes from 2,500 to 7,000, so you have a ton of range. And it's a great studio light because it has an adjustable fan noise setting. By the way, this entire YouTube video is lit with the new CL220 and this thing gets incredibly bright. I barely have to push it above like 5% for most things. So if you want more information, there's links in the description. Y'all know what to do. Click that stuff if you're interested. And let's get back into some flip cam action. Um. Welcome, this is Chow Eat Rice again. Um, I hope you enjoyed the flip commercial. Well, yeah, I, well, the whole backstory was. Uh, the biggest problem with this whole video was the freaking batteries in these cameras. I knew from the eBay reviews that I read that they were gonna come with old batteries that were already dead, so I had to buy some replacements from a different manufacturer. Unfortunately, all the replacement batteries that I bought that were supposed to work would not charge in this camera. I would plug this camera in using the beautiful USB connector, but nothing would charge. The power would not stay on with this camera. My flip camera is being very sketchy because these batteries just like, sometimes just the camera doesn't turn on and sometimes it says low battery even though I charged it the whole time. The unique thing about this camera is you can unlock the top plate, take out the battery pack, and this will actually hold AAA batteries as you can see. Put some triple A's in this little bad boy as a temporary solution. And I just used triple A's the entire time. I didn't get great battery life at all, but it was enough to still get a lot of footage. I will say that using this camera day to day on vacation was super fun and extremely discreet. Like nobody's gonna take you seriously holding a piece of Ray-Bans plastic with this little lens on it. So you can just film right in people's faces and they're not even gonna know what's going on. It's pretty great. But the battery life, the ease of use, the quality, None of it comes close to just using your iPhone. Another downside of the flip camera is the lens is pretty zoomed in. And I noticed a lot of the times when I was trying to do vlog clips, I was just kind of holding it out like this, but it would just film the bottom or top part of my face. You really gotta hold this sucker all the way out to get a decent looking frame. Um, so that's another place where the iPhone just destroys this. Pretty cool. Overall though, I did have a blast shooting with this camera. And it was funny just whipping it out and it became like an inside joke with our family on the trip. Like, oh shoot, I got the flip cam out today. It's gonna be a good day. <laughs> that's what you brought to- <laughs> I brought my nice one too. Why do you think I paid for you to come with a document this and you bring that ghetto <laughs> thing? Throughout this video, I've been sneaking in little flip camera commercials that I found on the internet from like a decade or more ago. And the only way to truly honor the flip camera's legacy is to make a flip camera commercial of my own. Now, before we watch this, I wanna say thank you for watching this episode of Retro Review. I love you, watch out for deer, text me when you get home. Now let's send the flip camera. Out. Hello?